Connor, what was the time time out like for you? What was the the recovery like, and and how close to a hundred percent do you feel like you are today? Uh, I mean, not being able to play a football game that's always tough. Just I like being out there with my brothers, being able to have their backs, and I mean. Not being able to play football sucks. I don't know what else to say about that. But, yeah, I'm back to 100% just getting the shoulder right. I mean, we worked really hard over those three weeks. Me and everyone in the – all the training staff, Lewis, Katie, Joe, I mean, we all went pretty hard after – for three weeks straight. And so just being able to get back and being able to feel good, finally, it's a good feeling. We'll stay on that front row to Brem. Connor, when did you first hurt your shoulder? Like, what – was there a certain play that happened against Notre Dame – and then along the way, how do you keep the faith of saying, okay, here we go again, and getting through that, that time period as well? I mean, all you can do is have faith. Once you lose your faith, I mean, it's hard after that. So just being able to trust God and his plan and what he has planned for me and this team, I mean, just be able to take it day by day, step by step, and, and that's what I did. And in terms of the injury itself, when did you hurt it? Uh, just sometime during the Notre Dame game. I don't know exactly which play it was. but. Uh, yes, sir, I think so. Yes, we'll go second row on the right side to David. Connor, was there a moment at practice, potentially, um, the week leading up to Missouri, that you're like, all right, I've got it. Like, there was something about your play that you knew that you were going to go to the Connor we had seen in the past? I mean, I don't know. I feel like if I get backed in the corner, I come out swinging. Like, I'm not going to go down without a fight. That's just how I, that's how I am. It's how I was raised and just being able to come out there and stick to the game plan Coach Klein had and just the trust he had in me and to go out there and sling the ball around. I mean, we had a good game. It was fun. We'll go second row on the left side, Alex. Yeah, you know, when you were rehabbing that shoulder, just what was the balance of, you know, you're trying to rehab, but you're also trying to see how far you can push yourself to possibly play. You know, were you, were you close before the Missouri game at, at playing in any of those other games and just – you know, the, the mental hurdle of, you know, trying to figure out if you actually are 100%. Yeah, it was it was close. I mean, we were just mainly focused on having a full week of practice, and that was our goal. I'll play when I get a full week of practice, and I was able to get a full week of practice for the Missouri game and ready to roll. We'll go third row on the left side to Tony. Hunter, obviously when you miss time, um, you're not able to kind of work on your physical aspects of the game. Is there anything you may have learned cerebrally, something you th saw from being on the sideline, taking a look back this week, well, this year? I mean, just sitting there watching film, watching the games from a different point of view, not being behind the center and just taking things in, just watching how some of my guys work, how, what makes them click, what makes them go, and how to get some of my playmakers into the, get the ball into their hands as quick as possible. And I felt like it was a good three weeks. We'll go back behind the lights on the right side to Ben. Connor, coming in, uh, you know, back for the Missouri game, obviously a big-time matchup, knowing there'd be – Kind of a microscope on, on how how you were looking health wise. Just how did you try to handle that aspect of it? I didn't pay attention to any of that. I was out there as I get between them white lines. It's time for football and strap it up and let's go. And uh, after the game, Coach Elko came in here, gave a pretty fierce defense of you from some stuff been out there. What 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 did that mean to you just to hear your head coach do that? I mean, it meant a lot. I, I wasn't gonna get up here and say it, but you know, I mean, it is what it is. It's it's what we signed up for, and we go out there and play football. That's all we can do. We'll go second row on the right side to Carter. Honor, what's your relationship like with uh, Marcel, and, and what do you like about what he was able to do filling in for you? I mean, that's my brother. I mean, I love him to death we, in the quarterback room every single day for the past two years, and so that's my guy. Whatever he needs, I got him, and vice versa. I mean, I feel like we built a really good relationship, and it's going to carry on once we're out of A&M and – just in regular life, I'll be his guy forever. And so it's a really cool thing that we got going on. And I mean, it doesn't happen everywhere. And uh, we're both blessed to be able to have that relationship with each other. And Ben just talked about uh, the Elko coming to your defense. Um, did you feel like the criticisms of you were unfair? And how did you just take that while you were off? I mean, like I said, it is what it is. I mean, this is what we signed up for playing in the SEC football. I mean. That's what ha comes with this game and just being able to get back out there and, and play football. I mean, that's that's all you can do, and that's why I'm here. I love the game of football, and I'm going to go out there and play as hard as I can for my brothers every day. We'll go back behind the lights on the left side to Morgan and then Richard. Yeah, just what have you seen from Mississippi State defensively so far this season, and what have you heard about playing in that environment there? I, mean, I went there my freshman year. It was pretty loud. The, cow the cowbells are pretty loud, so we, we've been practicing pretty good with some crowd noise and stuff like that. And they played a pretty good game last week against Georgia. And 
like Coach Elko always says, it's, it's about us. We go out there, play our game, our brand of football, and focus on us. Uh, it's, it's all going to play out how it's supposed to. We'll go third row on the right side to Richard to wrap things up. You spoke about your relationship with Marcel Connor. How has it evolved, or how did it evolve during your time off, and you know, what did you see from him on the field? I mean, it stayed the same. We've been boys for, for a pre pretty good while now, and whenever I'm out there, he, whatever I need done, whether watching the safety or watching the iPad and vice versa, when he's out there, whatever he needs me, uh, me to help with, uh, I'm right there for him.